Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to go over this Nikita Dragon um, egg thingy. Uh, it comes in this big box and it says live your fantasy and then her uh, of course printed signature. And then here is a photo and on the back it says hi dragons fire heart fantasy i poured my heart and soul into these products and i want to thank you for joining me in this fantasy breathe fire and there is that picture so i did not get the egg that had like the diamonds or what have you in it but i got the um plastic egg and here's the top cardboard um before i bring it out i'm going to read what it says online it says Nikita Dragon will launch a makeup line with two products, the Dragon Fire Skin Perfecting Potion, which is the liquid, for $25 and a color corrector with a, it's a, doe, a color corrector with a doe foot applicator, and the Dragon Heart Transformation Face Powder, which is $35. Both products will be available for purchase separately and in a set called Dragon Egg Transformation Kit for $55. So basically, get it in the egg kit for $5 less. So, I mean, why not? Now, this egg is very cheap. Uh, let me put this big box down. It is like a big plastic Easter egg. Um, it doesn't really stay together. It just... There's no like, you know, clipping it together. It came like this. It's just, it is staying like this. That is a mind of its own. When you open it up, here is the powder. I, I, I know it's upside down. And then here is the potion as it is called. Um, and there is this. this in there and I won't even read what's on there because it's just okay anyway so it is like a velvet but this is the problem is it's like falling apart the egg is completely like worthless I mean maybe if I take out the velvet pouch and then I can use just the egg for something it is very cheaply glued in here again this is not the diamond one for like the hundred and five dollars i believe it was okay so anyways i saved five bucks by getting this one here is the outer packaging upside down it was like raised right here like scales um this this is the um skin perfecting potion shake well before you used to get four milliliters 0.13 fluid ounces it is cruelty free and vegan which is super cool and here are all the ingredients so if you wanted to buy this alone it would be 25 which when you think about it for a liquid skin color corrector is kind of up there unless you're really into color correcting i'm saying this and i bought it but um anyways i was very curious i have a lot of problems under my eye it is always like a shadow or dark circle uh well that's how it always looks so I was very curious to see if this would make a difference because uh, I'm always looking into under eye alternatives. Anyways, when you open it up, it has the doe foot applicator and God forbid you ever mistake this for a lipstick. I'm going to swatch it right here. It is very orange. It does dry very quickly. Now, here's the main problem that I have with this. I'm going to wipe the bat off. Here it dries. Well, I'll let it dry down a little. Um, for me, I do my foundation and then I do, I, um, do my eyes. And then if it gets 
you know, fallout or what have you, um, then I use a makeup remover towel and I wipe under my eyes. So this has to go on before that because I do my foundation first. So it, I'm like wiping this off because if I have fallout, I'm wiping it under my eye, uh, which is wiping this off. Now you can say reverse your routine and do your eyes and then your foundation and then that way you don't wipe it off. But I feel backwards doing it that way. That is just my way. It's always been like that. I, you know, we all have our own way of doing makeup. Some people do their eyes and then their foundation. Others do um, the foundation and the eyes. I do the foundation and the eyes. That is just my preference. Um, so I've been really, really trying not to have fallout and not wipe it off. And then I will conceal and then I will go in with the powder. This retails for $35 by itself. I do love the packaging. I love the color of the packaging. I love the simplicity, but beauty of it as well. So it says pink opal, um, transcend with glowy pink pearls to brighten. And then yellow topaz, transform any face fantasy with light refracting yellow pigments. And then this has, uh, it's, it's cruelty free as well. Uh, 9.48 grams, 0.33 ounces. So let's just get out one of my correcting powders, KKW. This has 123 ounces. This has 0.33. Right. Yeah. 0 0.33, 123. So I know this is pressed. Uh, I get that. Let's just compare it to the Patrick Star. This has 0 0.70. So this is like double than that. And you get two in here. You get the, the pink and then the yellow. You get a very good size mirror. And here is the Patrick Star. And this is the Nikita Dragon. So this is half of what is in here. Um, I guess for your average pressed powder, let's pull out another one because I'm annoyed running short. This is uh, 0.52 ounces. So, I mean, you're getting a little bit less, but fine. Um, so I love the way there's a mirror here. It's very long as well. Here's the pink powder. I will swatch it. I mean, you're not going to see much, but there's a swatch up there. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to see very much. Here's the yellow. You know, yellows cancel out redness. And, um... Pink, I mean, the, they all have the properties, but um, it is very soft, very smoothing. I just, I love this packaging. It It is kind of raised right here, like scales. Um, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels kind of heavyweight. Um, I don't know if I could say I think it's worth it. I have been using it now for at least a week. And I mean, let me see my mirror. I don't know. I just, I really honestly feel like my under eyes look the same. I I, I don't want to lie because this is my channel and I'm honest. I just really feel like my under eyes come out looking the same. And mind you, you can use this anywhere on your whole face um, to cancel out all kinds of blemishes. Um, just all kinds of different, you know, uh, anything. Veins, redness, texture. It is not just uh, under your eye redness. So that is a really cool thing about this. But I really think color correcting is so extra. And I am 
I know I am so extra, but I think this is something that I will use up and then probably never buy again. Um, I have color correcting palettes that I never ever go into just because I fill between my primer and all that. Everything's pretty much covered. So this is my steal it and I've had it forever and I just, I, I don't reach for it. I have plenty, I don't reach for them. So although I think this is a great concept and I congratulate uh, her on her makeup launch and I am not disappointed in buying it because I totally wanted to try this. I just have to say, I don't see a difference. And I have used it the right way underneath my foundation um, and not wiping it away. And I've tried it out several ways. So I will continue to use it. I will use it up, but I don't think it will be in my repurchases because I don't think that it is really doing anything if I'm being completely honest. So, but to each their own, if you guys want to try this out, Honestly, it might be worth checking out. It depends on your needs and what you feel you want to invest your money into. Um, but I just have to say, again, I will not be rebuying it. I don't see a difference, but um, I love the concept. So let me know if you guys picked this up. I'm very curious. Let me know if you have seen changes if it's worked for you in the comment section below or if you just have no interest and let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving me a thumbs up and i will see you very soon bye